I'm Roger. And I'm Adam. And welcome to another one of RC Street Shop's how to videos. And what are we how toing today? Today we're going to how to how to charge a lipo battery. So, easily the most common upgrade we want to do in the shop is people going from nickel metal hydrides to lipos. And now, nickel metal batteries tend to be pretty straightforward, yes. kind of idiot proof to yes. charge, you don't have to yes. think about it a whole lot. Lipo yes. batteries, whole different story. Right. Lithium batteries you can abuse, you can overcharge, you can treat them pretty rough, and now, they will not kill you. And we need to take a moment here to like <laughs> maybe even flash big red letter warning, warning. This is incredibly important. You can literally kill yourself or burn your home down, cause property damage, if you mis basically treat yeah, a mistreat lipo. Yeah, mistreat a lipo. Mistreat a lipo battery. Right. Um, don't believe right. us. Go Google or you hit that search box on YouTube and type lipo battery fires. Yeah. And watch your hair stand on it. Yeah, they burn underwater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, under. They burn underwater, so right. this is very important. This is why we want to kind of do a how-to video right. on this. Uh, it's a serious chemical fire. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah not it really like, is. It's not just some small thing going on. Not like on. you lit your, your, your sister's Barbie on fire. This is a serious chemical fire. So hopefully we've emphasized, you know, that's why you're paying attention to this, so you know how to do it. Right. Really quick, let's let you understand the difference between a lipo okay. charger and a little hybrid charger and how they work. Uh, lipo chargers work strictly off of voltage. When you go to charge a lithium battery, the charger is looking for X amount of voltage, which is 4.2 volts per cell, and that tells the charger that it's full. So okay. it's looking for that magic number. Okay, it's, so it's waiting for it. When it hits that, it goes okay. It goes, yeah. Nickel metal hydride chargers are a little bit different. They don't go off of voltage. They go off of what's referred to either a delta peak, which is a little voltage spike that tells it it's done, or off of resistance on simpler chargers. Mm -hmm. So neither one of these batteries will... Uh, satisfy the needs for any other chargers. So if you yeah. put a LiPo on a nickel metal hydride charger, it's never going to see the right voltage or the right resistance. And that stuff, just, the charger will see it. So yeah. they never shut off, and that can be dangerous. What tools are we going to need to do this today? Oh, you don't really need any tools. You just need a charger and a battery. Your brain and your fingers. Right. All right. The stuff that nature gave you. <laughs> Maybe, you hope. Uh, what steps will we be covering? What are we gonna? What are you gonna need to do? We're gonna go over a real simple, uh, just why, uh, what, what you're gonna set the charger at, and why you're setting it at by looking at the battery, things like that. Right. So how to read your battery to tell how you need to charge it at. All right, and then we're gonna explain why not to use a nickel metal charger with your lipo battery. Right. All right, so here we go. Uh, we do want to just point out before we dive in that uh, while we're using, you know, a high tech X2 charger. And the steps on what you're going to butt hit and how you get there is going to vary from charger to charger. But the information that you are looking for is all the same. So right. should apply. Right. Take now, it away, Roger. Quickly, on our battery, this has all the information you need to know about charging. You need to know how many amps to charge at and how many volts the, uh, the battery is. On our, our peak battery, it says right here, LiPo 7.4 volt. Very important, 7.4 volt. 4,200 milliamps. That's how you determine the charge rate. Lipos max out what they refer to as 1C. What 1C means is 1 amp for every 1,000 milliamps of capacity. Once again, 1 amp for every 1,000 milliamps of capacity. This is a 4,200 milliamp battery. 4.2 amps is what we charge it at. So, now we're going to go through here, find our charge lead, which just has a Tamiya plug on it. We're going to plug that in. Next comes the balance board. You always have to balance your lipos. I don't care what your friend says. Always balance your lipos. It's critical for battery health to balance your lipos. Now explain to them why. Yeah, what's going on inside a lipo that's different? Well, you've got separate cells. In okay. the lipo, you've got different, two batteries. different cells. There's different batteries right. sandwiched on top two of each other. Two batteries sandwiched on top of each other in a 2S battery. The cells discharge at a slightly different rate. Now what can happen is after two or three charges of not balancing, you get one cell that's always lagging behind. With lipos, you cannot drain them too far, or your charger will not charge them, and it damages the chemistry inside the battery. So what will happen is, you'll charge it, and this this one cell will kind of keep lagging and lagging, and then you'll drain it down all the way one day, and that one cell will go down below the minimum charge, with the minimum voltage, and now you've got a dead battery because you refuse to balance it. All right. So, balance board: two cell, three cell, four cell, five cell, six cell. 2S, 3S, 4S, the S is just another way of saying cell. Mm -hmm. 
uh, a 2S plug won't go into a 3S plug, so if it doesn't fit, you have the wrong plug. Mm. Here we go. Also, these here have little ridges on there, so you can't plug it in backwards. So, you're going to plug it in. Now we're hooked up. Hooked up here, hooked up here. Our polarity is correct. Check, always check that too. Yep, black to black. Black to black, red, red to red. red. And on your charger, black to black, red to red. Mm -hmm. We are ready to start charging. All right. Now, we're going to go in here. Now we have our LiPo charger set for 4.2 amps, 7.4 volts, or 2S. So this matches what's on our battery. 442, 4.2, 7.4, 7.4. Yeah. Always double check that before you charge your battery. I don't care how good you are, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah. So, we're going to go to charge, hold it down, it's going to check our battery. It's going to ask us to confirm that it sees a 2-cell and it's set for a 2-cell. You hit enter and now we're charging. Now, most chargers will tell you individual cell voltage. We're at 3.83 here, 3.84. See how they're different? 3.83, mm -hmm. 3.85? Yeah. That's the point of the balancing is because one of these cells is a little bit behind. Okay. This is going to take care of that before it's done. All right. Excellent. And that's important. It's really important. All right. So and that essentially is how you charge your LiPo. Re-emphasize again how important it is. You not charge <laughs> a LiPo with a nickel metal charger. Right. Tell the story. We have a customer who almost burned their house. We have a customer that came in and he swore to us that he had a LiPo charger. You know, we don't ever remember him buying one, but there's other hobby stores, obviously. So he figured he went and bought it from another hobby store. Bought a LiPo. Bought us back this charred remain of a, of a, of a charger and a battery. And, and wanted to know what we why we tried to burn his house down. And what had happened is he had a Traxxas 4 amp uh, nickel metal hydride charger. Yeah. He tried to charge his lipo on it. Uh, the charger never shut off. He, he just left on for four hours at four amps. That's three hours too long. Yeah. And he unplugged it, not knowing why it wouldn't shut off. Went to sleep, and in the middle of the night, it just burst into flames while he was sleeping. Literally, almost yeah. burned his house yeah. down and killed him. Um, it's just super important that if you're moving to lipos, you know, you're double checking what you're doing and right. properly charging, discharging the batteries right. and uh, balancing them. That is key. Taking care of your batteries. Yeah. Lipos aren't cheap. No, they're expensive. Good lipos aren't cheap. And it's, let's talk about that. You know, good lipos aren't cheap, but they will last you longer well, if right. you take care of them. Use good quality batteries. Because if you talk to any manufacturer, whether it be Traxxas, Tekken, Castle Creations, any of these guys, they know their stuff. They're going to tell you don't use crappy batteries. Yep. First of all, crappy batteries will wreck your speed control. They'll wreck your motor. And thirdly, there's no uh, standards for no measuring quality C control. rate, quality control. Yeah. So if you buy a 40C 5,000 milliamp battery from China for $25, yeah, it's probably that. a 30C 3,000 milliamp pile of crap. Yeah. So... Be careful about what you're buying. Buy from reputable manufacturers like Max Amps, like Venom, like Associated. Traxxas. Traxxas. Yeah, the These are the guys that guarantee yeah. the performance of their batteries. Yeah. If not, then you're on your own. Yeah. Uh, so why is it important customers do this? So you don't burn your house down. <laughs> you know, we, we've made lipos out to sound like it's big, bad. They're really they, not. They're, they are yeah. very straightforward. And they're yeah. extremely safe. But, yeah. you know, it's just... You hear these. He says after you tell stories about right. burning their Well, they, they are extremely safe, but the only times we've really seen libel problems is from people who just don't Actually pay attention to them. Common sense. Right, right. Now, occasionally you do get lipo fires, so we recommend using bags and things like that. Yep. We have had batteries fail for no reason at all, and that's. But it's it's really one in a million. It's, mm -hmm. it, it, but like I said, we just want to scare you guys so you understand what can happen if you don't pay attention to your batteries. Yeah, so lipos need a little more attention and care, but right. that's why it's important. We want you to have fun, not kill yourself. Right, because then you can't Dying in a fire us. is not a good way to go. Yeah. Uh, how difficult would you say this is? On uh, a scale of 1 to 10? 1 to 10. Uh, once you understand it, I'd say it's probably a 2. All right. You know, maybe even a 1. It's just as simple as punching buttons. Yeah, this is true. It doesn't. Uh, let's see. How much time would it take, should this take? It would take you at least 45 minutes or an hour. Yeah. Um, if you're charging yeah. a 5,000 milliamp battery in 15 minutes, something's wrong. Yeah, you're asking for trouble. Yeah. Always 45 minutes or an hour. Yeah. All right, I think that's going to do it. Uh, right. Let's see. If folks want to buy batteries or battery chargers or need help and want to check out the goods, so to speak, is there somewhere they can go to do that? There sure is. Where's that? 
RC Street Shop! 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California. 90808. All right, and if folks can't come into the store, uh, is there a way they can get us on the phone and say hey? You certainly can. You're going to call 562-425-9000. Fantastic. And if we're talking words into a phone is a little just too much pressure for you, hey, you can always send us an email. It's info at rcstreetshop.com. Also, we are on social media. We are on Twitter at rcstreetshop, all one word there. We're also on the Facebook. You can check us out there. Uh, like the page. Keep up on things that way. RC Street Shop. And, of course, we are on the YouTube. Yeah! Hey, tell your grandma. Video. Tell your grandma. Tell your friends. But more importantly, like the video. And be sure to subscribe. subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. Tell your friends. Let them know we're doing these. And we'll see you in the next how-to video.